As we start the penultimate video here, we've already built just about the whole site, so now we'll move forward and build out a section which holds both these fields. This is the key. People are going to check out our work, and they're going to want to reach out through the web. Why? Because they want to give us money in exchange for our design services. But right now, we have no clear way to make that happen, right? Wrong. Except that is right at this moment, but in a few moments that'll be wrong. So let's begin by laying the foundation. Of course, in this case, that means starting with a section. We've already created a section class, so let's apply our section class. And we'll go back over to the add panel to drag in a div block. Of course, this is going to serve as our custom container. We're very used to doing this by now, so we'll use that custom container, and we'll use our horizontal combo class. Now, what's different about this is we're going to drag in a form block, so let's drag in that form block. Now, we can customize, even though it comes with these preset fields, these preset labels, we can delete the labels, we can delete the name fields, so that right now we only have email left. And we can customize the placeholder text. In this case, we'll make it say your email. Let's close out and continue. We want to put a text field. We want to put a text area field underneath your email so people can leave additional text, comments. We'll make this field required. We'll set the name to message, and we'll set the placeholder to your message. That looks pretty good. Now, let's customize. If we select the form, we can change the form width to 550 pixels. That's a good start. And we can drag in a div block. This will be the right side of this container, which we'll be using as our social wrapper. Let's expand our flex item properties and drag in our assets. Now, these assets, these four SVGs, we'll be using momentarily in our design. Let's go back to the add panel and drag in a link block. This will be the first link block that will link us to our social sites. Let's name this social link. Let's create a class called social link and we'll set its display to block. Let's drag in our first logo. Now, a class will automatically be created when we set the width here to 24 pixels. And after that, we can drag in a text block. We'll drag a text block in so that we can add some text inside of the link block. Now, because it's a link, it's showing our default link styling, so we can simply select our social link link block and make some modifications to the typography by adjusting the social link, the parent, the text inside, that text block inside is getting affected. And so we continue to make our adjustments there. Now, for the text block itself, we can set its display setting to inline block, and we'll keep this organized and give it a class name. For the logo, we can adjust its margin on the bottom, we can adjust its margin on the side so that everything is spaced evenly. Once we're done with that, let's copy and paste. Let's copy and paste the social link block. Of course, with it comes all of its elements we created. We can simply rename these so we have links for not only Webflow, but for Twitter, for Dribbble, and Instagram. Let's replace each of those logos by double-clicking on each social link and choosing Replace Image. We're simply replacing each of these images with the images we dragged in a moment ago. So each of these SVGs is now attached to its correct logo. All right, let's grab our social wrapper. Let's select our social wrapper so we can set our display setting to flex, which lets us adjust our flex layout properties. All right, that's good for now. Let's adjust our text field. Let's make an adjustment to text field. And when we do, we can apply that same text field class that was just automatically created to the other text field as well. And let's make a change to our submit button. Let's set its width on the submit button to 100% so it matches. Now, back over at the social wrapper, now that we have a better visual idea of what's going on, we can do something like add some margin to the left. We can always make adjustments to this later and try something else, but for now, let's move forward and adjust our text field radius to round off five pixels. Let's add a box shadow. Let's add a drop shadow here. Of course, we're trying to match the visual style we've already created on this site, so we can create a nice, soft box shadow, decrease the opacity there, and we'll do the same thing for the submit button. We'll create a drop shadow on the submit button that is significantly softer. Let's go in and make those adjustments, really increase that blur, and then of course, do the same thing we've been doing by dropping the opacity on our color. Speaking of color, let's pull some of that color in and do a linear gradient. Let's create a linear gradient on our submit button, and we'll use the eyedropper tool to pull colors from our previous section. Of course, this is going to keep things visually coherent, and it looks significantly better than the default blue color we just had a few moments ago. Let's also go in and change the text color so it's more visible, we'll change that to black. And then while we're doing that, last adjustment here typographically, let's make an adjustment to the font weight. 
Okay, now the text field, the bottom text field, your message. Let's create a combo class. That combo class is going to enable us to style on top of that original text field, setting that height to 160. That looks great. Okay, now the social wrapper div, that sits inside the container. Of course, that container also contains the form block, which contains the form. The form block, let's adjust that margin on the bottom to zero, evening everything out. And once that's done, we can make adjustments on our social link, holding Option or Alt to adjust the margin on both sides at once. So our spacing is looking a lot better. Let's go to the Add panel and drag in a heading. This heading, of course, is going to say Contact, considering the form is a contact form. And not only can we apply our Section Title class, but we can apply our Left Justified Combo class. Once we're done with that, let's drag in another div block. This is going to be for our horizontal bar. We've created that horizontal bar before, so let's create a combo class called less margin, and that combo class is going to have less margin. Now, besides one more div block we'll be adding in a few moments, we're pretty much done with structural changes. So let's go ahead and with our container selected, add another combo class for contact container. And this will enable us to make a specific adjustment to the color. Let's do this linear gradient, which focuses on the container, of course, because that's selected, which is a nice differentiation between this contact form, which has a gradient, and the section above, which also has a gradient. Dale, of course, giving us that amazing keyboard shortcut at the bottom left as we adjust padding. Of course, to adjust two sides, opposing sides, we hold down Option. That's great. And we'll continue to scale. Dale, is that... Did you make the shortcut bigger? You can... We, we're good on the shortcuts. Okay, now that we've adjusted our padding on the inside of that container, we'll move very quickly to make the adjustment to the radius, 5 pixels. And of course, with this selected, we can adjust the padding here too. Now, our container. Let's test responsiveness. And immediately, because of that margin we added before on our social wrapper, we're getting some crushing. So let's remove that margin and do this another way. Now, we mentioned we'd be using another div block. Let's drag a div block into social wrapper. Now, this might seem crazy, putting a div block inside a div block inside a container inside a section, both of which the container and the section are divs themselves, then putting all these social links inside, why go through all this trouble? Well, once we center this new div block inside the social wrapper, this aligns all our social links to the left inside the new div block. That div block itself is centered. Its children pull to the left, and it takes into account the margin we added to this container. It gives us a structured, centered style while maintaining a beautiful left alignment. Okay, with less than two minutes left in this video, we're going to test responsiveness and fluidity. So let's proceed by checking tablet and see how that looks. Of course, with our form selected, we can set the width to 100%. That looks good. And for our div block here, which we should responsibly name social container, it looked good when it was vertically stacked before in the other view, but for this, we're gonna make horizontal adjustments. Again, adjusting the margin on both sides. Let's continue to mobile landscape. In this case, we might want to wrap the children, make an adjustment there. Let's see how fluidity works. And those social links, getting them to align and size correctly is going to be pretty straightforward. We'll just adjust the basis to 50%, and we'll remove the margin on the left side, and we'll remove the margin on the right side. And that scales beautifully. We can always make another adjustment to this later, but let's move on to mobile portrait. Now, Mobile portrait, everything's crushed. Let's first remove a lot of that padding on the inside, drop that to maybe 15, and top and bottom, make an adjustment there too. Little more breathing room with that valuable real estate. Let's select our social link again and change the basis to 100%. So each of these has full width. We can make an adjustment here to the top and bottom margin, and that looks great. Let's select for the final time our social container, and if we adjust fluidity one more time, we can see maybe a little bit of margin on the top would look good. That scales nicely. Of course, we can make some final adjustments to margin, but overall, we're in great shape. And that is our contact section. For the course finale, we'll build a persistent navigation menu, which might be the greatest thing our potential clients have ever seen.